In this video, we will walk you through the basics of using the point of sale terminal, including how to start your shift, add items to a chit, combine and settle chits, end your shift, and much more. Note that depending on your club's POS setup, your POS screen may look different with different buttons or buttons labeled different than the example I will be using in this video. To start your shift, you must first log in to the point of sale, also known as POS terminal. Enter your user ID, then select OK or press enter on your keyboard. Next, enter your password, then select OK or press enter. If prompted, confirm or enter your starting float then select Start Shift. This will take you to the Start a Chit screen. If you see a table layout, select the table you'd like to assign the chit to. If this POS terminal is not using a table layout, you will be prompted to select the client to assign the chit to. Next, enter the primary member's member number and select OK. You can press F2 on your keyboard to open the lookup list or select the Find button to search for the member. If the client is a guest, select OK instead of entering a member number. If applicable, enter the number of covers to be included on the chit, then select OK. Let's take a quick walkthrough of the POS screen. The toolbar features a smaller number of icons displayed at the top of your POS screen, where you can find function buttons that are commonly used in every chit, order, or transaction. They can contain the most frequently used functions such as new chit, markdown, etc. The main menu is the first menu that will open when you launch a menu from this terminal and sales area and will contain sales items that are available for sale, which appear as buttons. Simply select an item to add it to the chit. Function buttons will typically be found below the sales items, which are buttons used for many purposes, including to void, edit, and send orders. Depending on the setup of your menus, you'll be able to access additional menus as buttons directly from a menu or as tabs at the top of the menu. The settlement menu contains functions to finalize and process a chit. Note that at least one item must be added to the chit before you can navigate to this menu, otherwise it will close your POS screen. The top left-hand side of the screen provides the ability to change the table number, number of covers, and the seat number you are applying the item to. Depending on how your POS screen has been set up, you may see a highlighted or not highlighted number or letter indicator to the left of an item. This letter or number indicates which course this item belongs to. The course codes will automatically be applied for you depending on the menu you add an item from. For more information on how courses work, watch the video titled F&B Courses. You can also see the quantity of an item, the name of an item, the cost of an item, and what seat number the item is assigned to. At the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll be able to see the total, including any applicable tax, gratuity, or service charges. If you click the total, it will provide a full breakdown of the chit details, including subcharges and totals. You will also be able to see the member number, name, and photo if applicable. If you need to change who this chit is assigned to, click on the member's name or where it says cash. Customizable member info fields such as member status, birthday, etc. can also be displayed here as well. The info bar at the bottom of the screen will list the chit number for you. As you add items to your chit, depending on your setup, the seat number may automatically advance for you as you add items, or you may be automatically prompted to enter a seat number. Either way, you can use the on seat number button to select the seat number, then select the items from the menu. Another option is to add the item then select the item and use the Select Seat Number button or predefined Seat Number button to change the seat number for that item. If you add an item with any modifiers, also known as preparation options, that need to be identified, you will receive a pop-up allowing you to add the prep options. The prep option menus will display as tabs and the individual prep options for that prep option menu will be listed for selection. The selections remaining section will state the minimum prep options required for the modifier, as well as the maximum prep options that can be added. Once you have added all the prep options, select Finish Selecting All Prep Items. The prep options will be added to the sales item on the chip. If you do not see the modifier that you are looking for, or the client wants to add an additional modifier, select the item then select the Modifiers button 
and enter the modifier. You can continue to add items to the chit until the chit has been settled. Some common function buttons that you may see on your menu include assign to server. If you need to assign the chit to another server, select the server you want to assign the chit to. Quantity. Select the item, then select the quantity button and enter the quantity for that item. If you have predefined quantity buttons, you can select the item, then select the predefined quantity. Edit. Select the modifier, then select the edit button and adjust the modifier. Void. Select the item you would like to remove from the chit, then select void. You may be asked to enter a reason for the void. Home will take you back to the main menu. When looking at the items on the chit, you may see the following letters which mean Once all items have been added to the chit, you can utilize the function buttons at the bottom of the menu. For example, to send items to the printers to let kitchen staff know to prepare the order. If your POS screen is utilizing courses, once the course is ready to be prepared, you can use the applicable fire button to notify the kitchen staff to prepare that specific course. This will only send the course you select, as opposed to the full chip. Once you're ready to settle a chip, switch over to your settlement menu. Before you do settle and close the chit, you can set how the chit will be paid. For example, if the chit will be paid by multiple clients. There are multiple split options, and the split options will be dependent on what has been made available on your settlement menu. The most common split option is split by item. Use this option to split the cost of an item between multiple chits. Select an item, select split an item, then select the chits you want to add the split cost with. You must also select the chit that you want to split the item with. Then select Done Item Split. If you want to separate items by chit, select the item, then select the chit. To change who the chit is assigned to, select the member's name or where it says cash. Utilize the remaining split options as required. For more information on splitting chits, watch the video titled Split by Seat. If you are not ready to settle and close the chit, you can use the next order button to return to the start a chit screen, where you can return to this chit at a later time by selecting it from the start a chit screen. Alternatively, you can select the done button to log out of the POS terminal once you have settled or are done with the chit. If you need to walk away from the POS terminal, use the walk away button to log out of your account. Depending on the menu setup, the chit may print automatically once settled. You can also utilize the print chit options that have been made available on your settlement menu. When the client is ready to settle their chit, you can use the settlement options available on your settlement menu, which typically consists of cash, card, or member charge, as well as gift card or any other available settlement options made available. If you've selected quick member charge, the chit will print and close automatically. All other settlement options will prompt you to approve or edit the amount being paid you may have to select the close chit button afterwards. After you close a chit, you will be brought back to either the login screen or the POS start a chit entry screen, where you can select an open chit at the bottom of the screen or one assigned to a table, or go ahead and create a new chit. You can also select more chits, which will list any chits you currently have open. Use the other options button to select from a list of tasks and functions available. You can end your shift by selecting the end shift button. Note that you cannot end your shift unless all chits have been closed or picked up by another server. Another way to end your shift is within the start a chit entry screen, select the backward button. Then in the point of sale chit processing menu, select start slash end shift and select end a shift. If you have been assigned a specific area, select the area you want to end your shift for. Otherwise, select all areas. You will be presented with an end of shift report. After reviewing your report, use one of the options at the bottom of the screen. If you have any open shifts, you will receive a pop-up when trying to end your shift. So make sure you go ahead and assign or close those shifts before you end your shift. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.